So we're going to try to figure out the five nautical miles. So going from 25 minutes to 30 minutes would be five minutes, which equals five nautical miles. So stepping out five nautical miles on our, on our chart in the bearing of 307 degrees would give us a position like that. And I'm going to just mark that with a pen. So now our journey has looked like starting from Renault Islet, coming out here, doing what looks like a big hard right, turning right round and coming back over to here. So this is where we are after the second bearing. Now let's have a look at the last part. Then 25 minutes at 12 knots at bearing three, 32 degrees. So from our compass rows, find 32 degrees is 0, 10, 20, 30, 32. Through the middle of the compass rows to 32 would be a direction like that. Hold the rolling ruler at the rolling part, roll it into position and mark a line. So we'll be going somewhere along that line. What we need to know now is how far we've gone. So in this case, same thing again, 25 minutes at 12 knots. So what we'll have then is 12 knots, one hour of 12 knots would equal 12 nautical miles. So therefore 25 minutes equals what nautical miles? Okay, and for this, instead of having it in nice simple breakups, we're actually going to have a somewhat complex one. We can express one hour as 60 minutes. So effectively we have 25 minutes over 60 minutes is the same as 12 nautical miles. 12 nautical miles are done wrong there. Over something else, question mark. Okay, so what we want to do is manipulate this equation until um, until we have just this question mark on one side. And let's just call this question mark X. So 25 minutes, 25 minutes, tw nautical miles would leave, this would be in nautical miles on this side. So therefore, having a look at the equation, this 12 nautical miles, dividing by 12 nautical miles is what's holding this equation in place uh, from, from X being by itself. So let's multiply both sides by 12 nautical miles. So we have 25 on 60 times by 12 equals X on 12 times by 12. So in this case, our 12s cancel on the right-hand side of the equation, which would leave X by itself. And it would just be 25 on 60 times by 12. So that's all we need to do to work out how many nautical miles we are. Calculators at the ready, and let's work that out.